I mean, I get asked all the time in interviews, mm. you know, well, do demons, you know, and, and principalities and powers, and by the way, they're not the same. You know, do they, do they think they can win? Yeah. I love how it just drops that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they're not. Do they think they can win? And I, and I always answer, well, it depends what your definition of victory is. Mm. Depends what your definition of win is. If you're asking, do they think they can beat God or kill God in the end? Well, of course not. They're not morons. Okay, yeah. they, they know who the creator is. They, they, they know that. But they're, they're going to look at what God has, in their minds, foolishly done. Mm. Okay, God has committed the return of Jesus, which, of course, is connected to the day of the Lord, which, of course, is connected to their destruction in Psalm 82 and mm. Isaiah 34 and Isaiah 24. I mean, all these passages. And he, God has linked all that to the, quote, fullness of the Gentiles being brought in. Mm. In other words, the accomplishment of the Great Commission. Yeah. Right. Because when the fullness of the Gentiles is brought in, according to the book of Romans, then Israel will have its awakening, and then the end comes, okay? Mm. So it's like, hmm, all we really need to do is keep the church distracted. All we really need to do Ooh, that's the, keep the great commission from, you know, keep it in a, in a failure position. Mm. We just need to kick that can down the road wow. as long as we can. Mm. So victory is we're still here. Yeah. And not only that, but the longer we do this, the more of God's family that he wants, we destroy and take away. Mm. Okay. So if that's how you define victory, they actually have a pretty decent plan. <laughs>